Hi, this is Bhaskar here. Today we're going to learn about some advanced settings and debug and how we can, let's say you got a sensor and you think like everything looks correct but still not sending data. So we'll see what are the pointers you need to look for and make sure they are correct. And so let's go ahead and open the box. So this is the box we have and right now is in this same configuration as you will receive. So I'll open the box. First thing I'll make sure is it has batteries. So this box has batteries. Then what I will do is if it's the, you want to use the sensor with the batteries, then the jumper will be on the extreme right side. If you want to use the sensor with external power supply, then this jumper should be as it is. You, there's two connections to uh, solder or connect the external power supply over here. In this case, we are going to use with battery. So I'll go ahead and set the jumper to battery. Now I'll open the PC UI and you'll see the data will show up on the computer over here in a second or so. If it does not, what you will do, you can hit the reset button. There we go. So it takes a little bit of time. What it takes time is because the sensor is self-calibrating and once it calibrates, it will start sending data. Now you want to, uh, let's say it does not send data, then what you will need to make sure is the batteries are new and the, sense the power supply is connected. So you can measure voltage, the point, pin one and the pin number 10. You can see they're marked as one and 10. The voltage between these two pins should be 3.3 volt all the time. If it's not 3.3 volt, you need to check the jumper or the batteries. If these two are correct and still it's not sending data, then you have to check the probe and make sure the probe is all the way in. If it's not all the way in, it will not send data. Now, the third case could be, let's say, say, hey, oh, you saw the da data changed because I was checking the probe. Okay. So in the third case, you can say, hey, it was working, but then I went to change some settings and now it's not working. So it means something got changed in the settings and that's causing the sensor not to work. So let's go to settings and see what we can change and which will make the sensor not work or not send data. So click on sensor configurations. After doing that, let's put the sensor in configuration mode by hitting reset and config. As you can see, the um, first time I slipped, the, I did not hit the config button really well, so it was did not send the configuration message. Make sure you push it really hard, uh, so it will say put, go into config mode. Now I'm going to change some settings and we'll show how it will not send data. So first off, read all the ID in default or right now what is the con current configurations. So you can see the pan ID address delay and all those things so the bar right now the pan id is 7 fff i'm going to go and change the pan id to let's say 7 a b c now i'm going to go click and read Now, our pan ID of our router is by default 7FF. I change the pan ID of the sensor to 7ABC. Now, it will not get the data. So, let's say hit the reset and let con sensor configure and you will see there will no data will come up on the UI because they have two different networks. So, the sensor is on a different network and the router is on a different network. So that could be one of the reason why you're not getting the data. So now let's go back, click on exit. What we'll do in this case, let's say you want to stay on 7FF, uh, 7ABC, sorry. So now you need to go and configure the router and change the ID of the router as well to 7ABC. So let's see what the by default is 7FF. So now I'll go to 7ABC and we'll click on set pan ID. You see the red, it means it's set correctly. Now click exit and click on run. You'll see 
and now the data is appearing on the UI because the sensor and the router both are on the same network. This is the most common reason why the sensor and the router are not talking to each other and not getting the data. The second reason could be the encryption key. Let's say there's a different encryption key in the sensor and the router. Or let's say the encryption of the sensor is enabled but the encryption of the router is disabled. In that case, these will not talk to each other. So let's go back and put this one into the config mode and change the encryption key and see how it affects. So I'll click on sensor configuration and I'll click on uh, put this one into the right now the sensor is in configuration mode let's and so i'll go and disable the encryption i will not do that right now because once i disable the encryption uh, there will be a different encryption key of this device and the router and they will not talk to each other at all because they have to be have same encryption key and enable to them to talk to each other so i will not do this at this point because i will lose the communication in that case Let's say you said different in encryption key is not working. So the final decision will be either do the factory reset or pull out the modem and use the XCTU and the default uh, setting files, which you can be downloaded from our website to upload in this one, uh, this wireless module, and it will start working again. The other thing could be the destination address. Let's say you set the wrong destination address, then the router then this will not work in that case also because it will sending data to a different destination address than the router. So let's, I'll go ahead and we'll change the destination address to, I'll click on set destination address, but it is already set to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Apply selected. Now read all. The UI is not displaying because it's not for this Windows 7 computer, so don't worry about that. It's so as you can see, the new destination is one two three four six seven eight, and now I'm going to go hit back and click on run and hit reset. Now the data will not come to this UI because the sensor is sending the data to a different destination address than the modem because modem has a different destination address. That could be leading cause number two, or uh, I'll say three, four, power is the first, second is panady, third is destination address, and it's not sending data. So let's go back into the configuration mode and change back to the broadcast mode. How to find the destination address is you can uh, plug the modem uh, the Zigbee out or wireless module out and then read back behind it or you can also plug the modem directly into XCTU and you can read the destination address from there as well and you can also read destination address in the receiving part so I'll go and put this one back to configuration mode over here so now it's in configuration mode and I'll go and set the address to broadcast and I'll click apply selected. Now we'll read the destination address again and all the other settings just in case. And now destination address is changed to 0000 FFFF. So now the settings are back to the normal one. I'll go ahead and click exit and run. Now I'll hit the reset because it's still in config mode and you will see the data will appear on the screen. Give it a second or two so that it can, as you can see, data is there. And the ad this address, source address, is the address of the sensor wireless module. As you can see now, it's sending data. And these are the basic settings. Encryption key, I do not encourage you to change it until unless you're sure and you write it down because once you change the encryption key there is no way to read it and the only way to revert it either pulling out the module or factory reset which both are painful processes so if you want to change it make sure you write down and you keep change the encryption key of the router also once both are changed they will talk to each other and they'll start working i'm going to put it back into config mode and change the pan id back to 
7FF because that's what I keep and it's a default and I remember it. So I'm going to go back and put this one back to config mode. This is in config mode now and I will say apply selected and I will change it to 7FFF. Apply selected. 